Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, what up everyone? Michael V. Petty here. Vlogmas day five, we've made it to Vlogmas. It's another shop with me. I mean, I'm pretty sure the past five or the past four Vlogmases have been her just shopping. I mean, girl, I wish all I had to do in life was just shop. I, it's, it'd be so nice to just like go shopping every day and have no other worry in the world. But you know, it's living the life, living her best life. So, um, we're just gonna go ahead and get into this react because he's already long enough. So without further ado, hit that button. Hey guys, so welcome to- What up, Vlogmas Amber? How's it going? So, how are you guys doing? I woke up and my throat hurts worse today. And it's like traveling in my chest. So it's like a chest cold situation has formed. A chest cold situation. That's a thing. So, yeah, I wanna- Typically that's how um, viruses and stuff work talk about concealer real quick oh <laughs> okay on channel who don't do makeup which i totally neither understand. do you you don't really do but makeup either girl give you know my little review for people who do like makeup on my channel who watch me the first concealer i've ever tried is benefit cakeless concealer it wasn't that great so i was like okay i want to try something different. <laughs> i can't believe we're like full-blown beauty guru now this is crazy different and i love elf cheap vegan great i'm not vegan but yeah like why do you care i you know that always always that's one one thing that's always interested me about, about like the whole makeup thing is when they're like oh like we got it. it's got to be cruelty free vegan free it's like you eat like chicken and you probably eat tyson chicken and stuff you know what i'm saying like but this that's where you're gonna like you're gonna be worried about the makeup like all right sure whatever whatever fam still great so I decided, okay, let's go cheaper route, get e.l.f. I got Fair Beige. It is the most amazing thing ever. Honestly, you guys need to try this. Again, it's e.l.f. Fair Beige. Okay. Are you going to show it? Like, are you going to show how it works or anything? Or are you just going to sit here and talk about it in a non-discriminate way? Like, how, how does it work? How is it the best? One more thing. My face has been super dry lately. I've been trying to- Yeah, we're not getting a real review. Just get it, because she likes it. That's the review we got. All right. Makeup products, I'm trying to figure out what was causing the super dryness. My skin is naturally dry, but I purposely got um, Becca foundation, because I went to Sephora, they tested my face, and this makes my face dewy. So all of a sudden, I'm like, why is my face dry? I'll tell you why. It's the Becca Hydrating. Um, hi guys. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. That was so weird. That was so weird. Do you think that like, oh, that seemed fo so forced and contrived. So the reason why my face was getting dry is That was so the, weird. Um, it's Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder by Becca. Babe, show me love on camera so they think you love me. Uh, like, I love Becca, great. Like, her foundation has changed my life. But this made me so dry. And the situation is, when you put it on your face, it feels super cold. So I purposely loved using it just because of how it felt on my face. <laughs> I know that's, like, weird, but whatever. I, she is so stupid. She used it on her, that's what it's for. It's for your face. So I have to get rid of that, give that to someone who needs it and loves it. Cause I'm over it. Today is actually my doctor's appointment. Hello. Damn, she got so, into that doctor this is just real a quick. Care doctor. It's not like a weight loss doctor. It's not like any sort of doctor. It's just straight up doctor. I um, need like a checkup, and plus, when I went to the ER, I want to do um, a follow up on that. Plus, I have a cold. I want to just talk to him about. She want a Z pack. Those type of those type of deals. Oh, I was gonna say those type of steals. Like what? So I made a comment in one of my last videos where I said I hope this doctor takes me more seriously than you did say that. So let's see how you backtrack on this one. The last one. So I kind of want to clarify what I meant by that. My previous primary care doctor was this girl that I honestly love. This girl. She's a fucking doctor. It's not a. She's a woman. A this girl she's a fucking doctor dude she went to f four years of regular co college four years to medical school did a residency now has her own practice she's more than this girl because she would sing and she was just fun and uppity 
like for every holiday she would like dress super freaking extra and like cute you saw her like two times like how do you even know you've seen her twice but, like i went one time um around christmas and she was dressed like as an elf like she had like a she sounds like an amazing person i want this doctor great personality someone like you literally wanted to hang out with and like be best friends with but i remember i told you guys this story before i did all my labs um i came back and she told me that my blood pressure is just the tiniest bit elevated and that I'm healthy, I'm a healthy girl other than that. I remember sharing that with you guys and I was kind of like tooting my own horn, like haha. You were more than tooting your own horn, bitch. You were having a whole ass parade, gloating your, like you could walk, like you gloating your ass all the way down the street being like, I told you guys, I did it, I'm healthy, da 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 da. Like it was more than tooting your own horn. You did a whole reveal in the kitchen with Becky, a whole song and dance, girl. Let's not minimize your actions. Like over 500 pounds, but I'm healthy according to my doctor. That is what I was talking about because honestly, like after I thought about it and after I saw the comments and like what people were messaging me, they were like, you're not healthy. I don't know what your doctor's talking about. And like, that's the truth. So Girl, that is not how that went down at all. You're a full ass lie. You were, you were adamant that you were healthy for a good ass while after those blood, that blood work came back. First of all, she, she probably wasn't saying you're the epitome of health. She was just saying that your blood test came back and your stuff wasn't within normal range. That's all the, but you're young. You're 20, you were 25 years old when this all went down, right? Like this is over a year ago, like two years, almost two years ago. You're 25 years old. The only thing you have going for you is the fact that you are young. Okay, all those comorbidities are gonna catch up to your ass. That and she probably didn't say that to you because of how you act and how immature you are, and she probably didn't want to scare you off. But let's not pretend that this is the the doctor's doing. I, dude, ooh. So I wanna, I'm, I wanna see a doctor who is like you're not healthy this is like truly what's going on but when you've when other doctors have told you that you've ran scared what are you talking about dude see this is what i can't stand about like the health at every size or like fucking chantelle or this is like they, they they now you want someone to tell you what's wrong but in the past people have been telling you screaming at you that, that this is what's wrong for fucking years and now it's the doctor's fault for not taking you seriously whatever whatever well, like to sit Whatever. there and tell someone who's over 500 pounds that they're healthy, like that's a little weird to me. She probably didn't say that, dude. I can't. She's she. She's a whole ass lie. That's probably not at all what happened, dude. That's probably not at all what happened. Just like you lied about the weight loss doctor stuff too. So that is what I meant by that. I didn't mean like no disrespect and i know i call yeah, you just referred to her as the girl and then talked about how she shouldn't be going around telling 500 pound people that they're healthy like but you mean no disrespect right okay as you come on here and like slander this woman's name or whatever at least she, we don't know her name but okay okay jan sure jan you know doctors and psychiatrists i say that girl i say that guy like i don't want to give out names and that's just the you can just say the doctor or the physician or the psychiatrist you don't have to refer to them like it's so demeaning whatever the type of way that i talk i never mean disrespect whatsoever because like this whole ass thing is disrespectful because you're gonna blame her for your shortcomings essentially like, we need doctors we need psychiatrists and we need like, health insurance too but we're not gonna get that like, i look up to these people and it's just honestly, no you the don't way I talk you guys know that i talk like, she's full of shit dude the time. so I just kind of wanted to clarify that. Um, that's I have to leave for my whatever, dude. In a good like twenty minutes. That's so, not at all how that went down, but again. okay. You're having a great day. Okay. Peace out. She can't even pick up her legs to do a full ass step. She shuffles all the time. These Casey Knight, Casey Knight said, "Who?" Please don't mind my scary face. I don't. Uh, so I'm in the Walmart parking lot. Back um, at Walmart again. Went. How in the world could someone need to go to Walmart every single damn day? I don't understand. I get that there's nothing to do there, but like every day we're going to Walmart to go get some pads because it's her moment. Um, 
I didn't go in there because you guys know me and Walmart. I'm just like, sis don't need to be spending money right now. So, no. What? Didn't she just do a $500 tour at haul and then went to Walmart? But we don't need to be spending money right now. You just don't want to get up and walk. That's what this is, right? Date on my doctor's appointment. So this was a new doctor and I loved him. He was very like kind. You also loved the woman too. And then you didn't, whatever, dude, I can't. This whole, this whole thing is a full ass lie. And, and professional. So. Oh, took, because the other ones weren't? Okay. Some tests. Okay. They're going to call me if something's like off or wrong. My blood pressure was perfect, which made me hallelujah. Like, I was like, hallelujah, hallelujah, holla, holla. That just made me really happy. Like, it really did. Um, about my cold, he said, just keep taking Dayquil because it'll definitely help because it's just like a typical viral thing, he called it. Like a viral virus or something. <laughs> I don't know. Colds are viruses. That's how they work. He said it's nothing to, like, worry about. So I was like, okay, I'll just keep taking Dayquil. Um, so yeah, it just went really well and I was scared of going. I get hardcore anxiety doing things like this and- Cause you don't like being confronted with the truth. That's really what this is about. I've recently wanted to do things that scare me, you know, like do something that scares you. And then once you're done with that, like you'll feel so relieved. Like I feel so- the way she checks herself out in the camera and does duck lips while she's talking about this is so triggering. Relieved right now. I am scared for my tests to be ran or whatever. Um, I feel like I will get a call back. I don't want to like go into like grave detail, but like I just am, you know, kind of nervous about that. But you guys, I did it. Round of applause for me. No. So I have I'm not gonna applaud you for something you should have been doing and handling this whole entire time. A mini story time and I know no one's gonna believe us. But that's okay, like you don't have to. So one night, I don't even remember where we were coming home from, maybe a friend's house, maybe like- Girl, just give up on the chokers. Like just give up on them. They've given up on you. Family member's house, we were coming home from something. And no seatbelt, driving like, on the fucking really freeway fancy, or whatever. Fancy, like little area on the way home where it's like nothing but like huge houses and they're building more there. So I bet Amber Lynn is an armrest hog for sure. So I always just like love looking at the houses and like well, maybe one day I can have one like that. It was nighttime. We were just going doing our doing our do and we saw like a UFO. I know when I say UFO. <laughs> Girl, people think of aliens, so stupid. But what does UFO really stand for? You know what I'm saying? We saw unidentified flying object. That's what it stands for. Something in the sky that just. What does it stand for? It literally is UFO, unidentified flying object. Didn't look normal. Like it was. Girl, you think chem? You think the things in the sky are chemtrails or whatever? You're. I can't. Like okay okay white, but it had like other lights with it and the weirdest part it's of probably all, a plane it it's probably it a passenger covering. plane and i know you guys are gonna be like oh god like you guys are rolling your eyes at me now every single time yeah. we go past that part where we saw the ufo cell phone service completely shuts off completely shuts off and to me it's just like the weirdest thing because it never used to happen until we saw that like thing in the sky just like hovering over the houses i am little story time we just went past there so i was just like it is so weird like does anyone have an explanation um, i mean maybe it's, it's probably a plane it was probably a fucking plane like a satellite situation but that doesn't even make sense either i don't know it wouldn't hover a satellite wouldn't hover over a house first of all i dude it's probably a cloud and the light was reflecting off of it or something stupid like some things are so weird i just don't get it but yeah I don't know why. Weird like how gullible you are. It was like it's weird that you choose to still wear chokers that so don't fit. So I'm going into TJ Maxx. Oh, I guess we're spending money. I guess so much for not spending money. Max, gonna look around. Y'all, look at those earrings. Those are ugly. <laughs> oh, is that a bracelet? That's pretty. Are these earrings? What in God's creation? Those are actually really cute. 
I love it. In the last video, she was going on and on about how everyone touches everything and she doesn't want to get sick while this fool's out here with a full-blown cold touching everything. Like... Oh my God. Those are ugly too. That backpack is ugly. Christmas wreath. Good. Here, babe, hold the camera and follow behind me while I shop. Touch everything. At least she's walking. Could you imagine? Could you just fucking imagine, like, walking in on this and seeing a zombie follow a big girl around while she with her backpack on just filming her like what, what would you what do you think people think when they see this comment down below what you think people think paparazzi. Paparazzi. touch touch what the heck? it's a bowl what is that <laughs> a bowl a reindeer bowl Y'all have about, like, 50,000 candles at home. Y'all don't need any more candles. Ooh, smell this. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. <laughs> yeah. I have to agree. Ooh. There's something just so depressing about Becky. Like, it... She used to have so much more personality, and now it's just, it's gone. Like, it's just, she's so blah now. Like, what happened? She should not be driving. I, I'm going to just put that out there. I don't think she should be driving, especially with Amber in the car vlogging with no seatbelt on. She just doesn't seem there. Apple wreath. I'll cry later. <laughs> okay, Amber. I mean, I have nothing to say because this is like so boring. Like, touch everything. <laughs> Literally, just touch it all. Why did the audio cut out? Why is there no audio? That's aesthetic. Oh, is it because of the copyright? It's because of the music. Touch everything. I New York so bad. She cut the music out so that way it doesn't get demonetized or struck. I wish upon a star that I go to New York. Oh my god. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> it's just like seven years on this fucking platform and like this is the best she got. This is her best. I... <laughs> this is like really like... Okay. Hello. Oh, the music just suddenly I'll stops. I'll be your tour guide. Here we have dog pillow. I've noticed that Amber, when Amberlyn tries to be funny, it's the cringiest shit Snow ever. Pillow. She's yeah. more yeah. funny when like she's not trying to be funny. That's Here when it's have. actually funny. I found the one pillow. 
I mean, we're gonna skip Tour some of this because my lord. Okay. <laughs> Touch everything. Everyone looks at me. Yeah, because you're annoying. Roar some. <laughs> I just anything for there content, right? Circles. Yeah, because the clothes be are proud. sure fuck not gonna fit. So there's no point going on the clothing island. Saving that money. Like, I saw so many things I wanted, but I was like... What's with this whole saving money thing right now? I'm so confused. Like, I do think you should save your money, but, like, dog, you just spent, like, almost $600 at Torrid yesterday. Like, okay. <sighs> You're getting Amazon doing. packages, like, every All day. Shopping, shopping, shopping. So if you can walk that much at TJ Maxx, then why don't you walk at Walmart? Like if you're, it's you're obviously capable. That's the one thing that's always been the most interesting to me about Amberlynn. I've said this before. Like when she would like brag about walking for two minutes and stuff like that, she never pushes herself unless she like wants something. And then if she wants something, then she'll like go above and beyond usually for it. But like, she really sells herself short a lot when it comes to like what she's capable of. She, the honest to God, she, the one thing she has for her at this point is the fact that she is young and she should not be taking that for granted. And she should be like up moving a lot more than she actually is. And it's nice to see her actually walking around the TJ Maxx instead of like riding a scooter around. She needs to just start applying that to like all aspects of her life. <laughs> Shopping, shopping, shopping. Spending money, money, money. I have the money, but. Of course. I need to start being strict with myself. Trust me, I read your comments. You guys, I'd like to tell you that Twinkie is down 1.4 pounds. Oh. I've been trying to give her less and not so much food. No table food, human food. I love you. Oh my god. So, ooh, it's dark. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, some of our friends just left. Had so much fun. But usually, um, the way she tugs on those chokers. I would give Twinkie like, if I was like having chicken, I'd give her like a small piece. Like it was nothing like super crazy. I wouldn't give her any like junk or whatever. But it definitely. Made her gain a little bit of weight. So I've been doing that. Well, obviously you're giving her enough to make her gain a lot of weight, dog. Um, I've been the green bar. Her, like, the perfect amount of why food. does her vi Why do her videos She's do that? More exercise, so I'm so proud. She lost 1.4. I'm like proud of that because for a dog, that's actually kind of a lot. So I just wanted to give a little update. I did get a call, call back from the doctor and I have to go back on antibiotics. I'm gonna go and get them tomorrow. Um, I'm just not very happy about it, but it's kind of like, it is what it is. <laughs> she must have some kind of recurring infection. So something's going wrong. Like, nothing I can really do Some infection it, that's not clearing up. I have to take two antibiotics a day, um, one at night, one in the morning, and I have to do it for seven days. So I'll be taking 14 antibiotics. Let's just hope the best for me because I'm tired of it. Tired. So I'm sure you guys remember in the beginning of my vlog, the lipstick I was wearing. Hey guys, so welcome to Vlogmas day five. So the story is, I should have mentioned it then. I know it didn't look good, okay. Lipstick, beautiful, love the color. It did not go with this dress. I know, I was just randomly thinking about it and like, then I was like, oh my God, I should have worn a nude actually with this. That would have looked so much better. Things, the things, the things. I wish I would have done earlier in the day. Now that it's nighttime. Like what? 
It is time for comment of the day. You know what? I Your will say this. Really I am very impressed with the fact that this was, and we actually had a whole ass vlog that didn't have any food in it. This was like, I don't think there was any food in this vlog, which is like really nice in my opinion. Cause I hate when she does these food centric things. I don't think she should be focusing on food period. Real talk. Like on it, it's with vlogging or whatever and eating it on camera. I think that's one thing she, that's one behavior she should cut out immediately. Really nice. Thank you. I appreciate that, Erica. I've definitely been trying to do my makeup every day and get ready for the day every day because it just it makes me feel more productive. Becky needs to hook our girl up with cooking lessons for real, for, Christmas. for real, <laughs> or just give it's her really Google funny. you some decent recipes. Um, it's so funny that people judge me so harshly on my food, but yet they've never tasted it. No like, one would want to eat that. Uh, Even the people who live with you don't want to eat it. <laughs> My food is That's good. why Becky gets her I own wish, groceries. Like, I could cook for you guys. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, no, don't do it. Ew, no. Like, I don't know. It doesn't even matter. Like, some people suck at cooking. Some people don't. Like, you suck at cooking. Everyone has different taste buds. You're losing weight. I can definitely tell. Good job. Keep up the work. Thank you, Sean. It's funny, like, because when people were guessing how much she weighed or whatever, or saying she looked bigger, she gets offended by that. But when people tell her she's losing weight, then it's like, oh, my God, you're so right. You're so perceptive. Like, and I am losing weight. It feels good when people so can fucking actually ridiculous. notice. In editing this video, I noticed. <laughs> I did notice, and it made me really happy. I was like, wow, I think I can kind of tell now. Just an FYI, you're not supposed to take NyQuil slash DayQuil while on a mood stabilizer. That's not true. I actually saw a doctor today and I told him I was doing NyQuil and DayQuil and he said that was totally fine and he knows that I am on a mood stabilizer. I mean, I don't know about, Queen I don't know. deleting comments. <laughs> Chicken down, wings. I'm not deleting comments. There has been rumors of this for a very long time. I do not go in and delete comments. What people say, people can say. Like, I really don't care. And that's why I get a lot of comments, because I'm not deleting them. How do you feel about the Destiny and Dana breakup? Um, they haven't broken up that I know of. So anyways, that's the last comment of the day. I hope <laughs> you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Interesting. So, all right, just a few things. I don't think she's deleting comments. I've seen a lot of people saying, like, oh, she's deleting comments. I don't think she's deleting comments. Um, it's just... There's not as many comments right now because she's uploading every day. So there's not like there's not five, four days for her to accumulate a shit ton of comments because she's uploading every day, every morning. So and I think she's uploading them. I don't fucking know. The doctor thing was incredibly triggering to me. I hate the way she talks about her old doctors. Like it bothers me. Those people wanted to help you. You chose not to listen to them. In fact, you chose to do the exact opposite of what they wanted you to do. Um, we'll see if you'll follow this doctor's advice through and through because let's be real when you don't when you don't develop a relationship or any kind of decorum or or any kind of like I don't know trust with your doctor they're not going to tell you like all of the like hard truths like immediately right it's like it, it is a business at the end of the day um they're not going to come at you and be like your whole life's fucking trash so throw it out like they're not going to do that so you never gave those doctors enough time to really like try to help you in fact when they would try to help you you would be incredibly indignant about it and you would be incredibly combative so yeah i don't think it's okay for you to be referring to your doctor as that girl or that i just think it's disrespectful i wouldn't even refer to like people in general like that like strangers like they're women they're men they're women they're doctors they're professionals like they do this for a living like and they tried to help you and you chose not to and and you choose and pick you're very i love how you choose and pick like what things you're gonna like say or divulge when it comes to stuff like that like that whole that whole health that doctor never told you that you were 100 percent healthy she was just say she probably was saying that your blood test came back within the normal markers which is probably surprising to her too so whatever this one video is long thank y'all so much for tuning in remember to follow me on instagram and twitter at michael b petty and like comment subscribe until next time toodles